welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these super easy little Easter gnomes. They're made with one pair of socks and one of those jumbo Easter eggs. If you want to know how to make them, stick around. I'll show you how. And if you want to see future videos like this, be sure and subscribe. We also have a Facebook page. Click the link below and join. We have a lot of talent in our group. Thanks for watching. <music> Okay, for this gnome, what you're going to need is a pair of socks. You're going to need a Easter egg. These are a jumbo egg. I got these at Michael's. They measure 2.7 by 3.89 inches, and they come in a four-pack. You're going to need a pair of um, shoes. You're going to need a little um, cotton ball for his tail, a bead for his nose. Um, I got these at the Dollar Tree. We're going to make a bench out of these. They're crates. You're going to need some um, pipe cleaner, some faux fur, something to decorate your little bench with, and some ribbon, scissors, and a glue gun. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to start by cutting out our um, faux fur to our, make our beard with. And I initially put that you measured, cut it at 4 by 4 in the video. That was way too large, so I need to be cut at 3 and a half by 3 and a half. And we're just going to freehand cut this, cutting through the backing only in a U shape from side to side, and then clean our excess hair off. Now we're going to take our socks, and then our socks, I also put that we're going to cut the top off at 2 inches. My mistake, it should be at 3 inches. So we're going to cut it actually at 3 inches off the top. Then we're going to take our sock with the heel in the back, and we're going to place it over our egg with the biggest part of the egg on the bottom. And just stick that right in there and then pull it on through. Then we're going to open up our sock and we're going to glue just around the edge of the top of the egg. And this is just going to keep our sock from um, slouching down and moving around on our egg so much when we get our ears put in. So we're just going to kind of squeeze that down a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and cut our um, ears. We're just going to cut right down the middle so we have equal amount on each side. And then we're going to turn it over, and on the part, the side that had the heel, because we don't need that heel, we're going to just cut that heel right off of there. And then both of our sides should be equal. Then we're going to hem up one side of each let of each ear. Just add a, a bead of um, glue down one side, and just flip it over, and that'll give us a nice seam for this side. And then we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side as well, so that our ears match. So you ha should look like that. Then we're going to go ahead and take our ears, and we're going to fold them over. And then fold the, uh, the, the seamed part over the top of that, and we're going to pin it down, all the way down. And put your pin just a little bit below where the seam is because we're going to come back in and put our hot glue across there. Now let you know ahead of time, don't glue all the way inside of your ear because we are going to put a pipe cleaner in there in a little bit so that we can bend our ears. When you get to the end, just turn it in. And we're going to kind of pinch it up a little bit so that we have a tip on the tip of our rabbit ear. And just pin that, and then we're going to pin the other side as well, and then we're going to just hot glue it down its seam. So you have an ear that looks like that. We just kind of are shaping these into rabbit ears. And we're going to pin this side as well, doing the same thing, so that we can go ahead and glue them down. And then we'll pinch up the end. When we put the glue at the end of the tips, we'll just pinch them up. Just make sure that your ears look the same. You'll have a hole in the center, but we're going to fix that. We're just going to take our glue gun and we're just going to run a bead right down the ear to hold that together. Kind of squeeze it shut. Pull your pins out as you go. And then when you get to the very tip of the ear, we're going to put our glue in there and we're going to kind of pinch it up a little bit so that it has like a little tip on it. Just kind of squeeze that together a little bit. And then there's your ear. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. We're just going to glue straight down the edge. And we're going to pinch it in the end and pinch it up a little bit so that we have a tip on this ear too. And the reason we left the hole in the opening is because at this point we're going to take our pipe cleaners. We're going to fold them in half. 
and we're going to stick them up into the ears. Here's what I did on mine. I didn't, I thought my ears were a little bit long. And so if you want your ears to be a little bit shorter on your rabbit, be sure before you start um, pinning it up to glue it and everything like that, if you want them a little bit shorter, go ahead and cut them off at that point. I thought mine were probably at least about an inch and a half too long, and I wish I had cut them down. I did it in my second gnome. And you're going to go ahead and trim off your pipe cleaners inside so that they're flush with the top of the egg on both sides. And then we're going to add a little bit of glue and glue it to the bottom of the ear so that it stays in place so it doesn't slide down into the egg. And we're going to do that on both sides. And then we're going to cover up our hole that we have in the center. We're going to pull the back forward, glue underneath that, and then we're going to put the top of the other other side of the hole over that over that and glue it down. Okay, then we're going to take a little bit of ribbon and we're going to tie our two ears together, not so tightly, but just to put a nice bow separation from the top of the egg. And then trim off the excess ribbon. And you can bend your ears and you can see. And then we're going to go ahead and build the body. This is actually going to look like a hat. We're going to take the other sock with the heel in the back. We're going to put it all the way over that egg. Go all the way up to the top. And then we're going to fold it back down towards the bottom again. And we're going to glue, we're going to glue that up to the top. Just below the ribbon all the way around. Then we're going to take our cuff, cuff it all the way back to the top again. You can get your heel put in there. It's going to be about like that. And then we're going to glue that section to the top as well. And then we're going to cuff up the hat and make a nice little cuff on the top of it. And go all the way around. And then we're going to go ahead and glue the back of the hat, and then we're going to do our beard. So you're just going to lift the top of that hat back up, and we're going to glue our beard down underneath it. And just let that dry real good. Then we're going to pull our hat back down. And we're going to glue the sides. Don't glue the very front because we've got to put the nose in. And now we're going to add our nose. Just lift that hat brim back. Put that bead on there and then let it dry. And then we're going to glue the top part of the hat down over the top of the nose. Okay, and then while that dries really good, we're going to start building our legs. So you're going to need two pipe cleaners, your two tennis shoes, and then the fabric that we cut off the top. We're going to open up our shoes, get them all ready, and then we're going to take our piece of fabric and we are going to cut it in half. So we'll have half for each leg. And after we get those cut in half, we're going to hem up one side of each leg so we have a nice seam down the back of the shoe. It's going to take a bead of glue and glue down one side and then bend it over. To make our to make our um, finished out seams, and we're going to do the same thing to both sides. And then we're going to take our pipe cleaner and we're going to split our pipe cleaner in half. Now, don't cut anything off of it because we're going to have to do some measuring before we cut it. So just bend them in half and put the um, rolled half at the bottom and we're just going to glue that into the leg. I'm just going to add a bead of glue across the bottom. We're going to hem this bottom part up as well and this will give it a little bit more meat inside the shoe to stay to stay in there. Kind of fatten it up a little bit. I'm going to take our pipe cleaner, just glue down one side. 
and we're going to roll it up in there to the finished out seam. And we're going to do the same thing for both sides. But we're going to leave our pipe cleaner long because we're going to actually put this underneath our beard like we've done. If you watch the pajama one, that's how we did that one. And just roll that right up in there. And then that seam will be in the back. You won't see it in front of the front. We're going to just have to lift up our beard. And we're going to see, we need to get the top edge of our shoe, of our leg, underneath that um, beard so it glues down. So you're just going to have to trim it off until you get it to that point. Because we want to get that top of that leg glued inside of that beard. And that beard will lay down on top of it and we'll glue that down here in a minute. So you're going to put, you know, quite a bit of glue to hold all that in. And then just attach that. And kind of equally space them so that we have a little bit of a space between their legs. And then we're going to glue our beard on down to our um, body. And that's what's going to hold our legs in. And while that's drying, we're going to go ahead and build our park bench. And I just took two of these crates from Dollar Tree and I stained them with a walnut colored stain. Actually, it was a dark walnut. And we're just going to trim the back bottom ledge to the back of that. And that's going to create our park bench. And just turn it around to the front and make sure it's even. And then we're going to set that aside and we're going to go ahead and attach our shoes. And we're just going to make sure that we have a right on our right and a left on the left. Because you don't want his feet sticking out opposite. And we're going to add a bunch of glue into the bottom of that. And we're going to add his foot in there. And then we are just going to tie his shoes. And just make sure his feet are facing forward. And tie his little shoes for him. And we're going to do the same thing with the other side. Just put a big dollop of glue, a big dollop of glue, and glue that shoe in. And we're going to tie that one off as well. All right, so he's ready to sit on his park bench now. And I just got a little basket of carrots to put next to him. You can use eggs or whatever you want to. And you got a cute little gnome sitting on a park bench. Be sure to make more so he has friends. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have a new video, hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it.